Namaste, everyone. This is Miss Bella here, Miss Little Bella G. For those of you who've been asking me, how is she doing? She is right here with me. And we're going to talk about what's going on this week with the Cosmic Vibes from February 9th to the 17th, 2023. Aren't we, little baby? I know. She wanted to come in the videos, and normally I have it a little set up differently because she always hangs out right by my neck. So for those of you who have seen my other videos, you have seen Bella literally like all around and normally hangs out, but I'm in a different chair right now. So she's not able to do that. So I just wanted to bring her up here because she loves being a part of everyone. She loves everybody, everybody. Isn't that right, my little boo-boo bear? Yeah, no, sweetheart. So, we are going to talk about the cosmic vibes and make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel for goodness sakes hit that little subscribe red button in the corner there ding and that way whenever i do new videos you are going to be the first to know okay so i'm gonna put little miss bella down because she's really heavy i'm holding her literally by like my arm so I just wanted to bring her in just for you guys to see her. Isn't that right, my little love bug? My little baby girl. So I just love her so much. My little boo-boo. So we're going to put her back. She now knows that she is a part of you. She can sense it. Animals are really sensitive, of course. So I might even do a separate video on animals. So let me know if you would like to see that. Because I've been thinking about it for a little while now. So let me know. So anyways... I'm going to talk about what energies, how you might be feeling or sensing or what you might be going through this week coming up. Because if you look back, even the past few days, how many of you guys had internet issues, like interference with your electrical devices, right? And I'm like, why all of a sudden is this like happening? Why is this shutting down? Like, why is all of a sudden my computers acting really strangely or like my TV or whatever it is. That shows you just how intense these cosmic vibes with our solar system affects you. And Miss Bella's trying to talk, right? She's actually seen her little reflection in, in the balcony. Come here, boo. Come. So sorry about that. But she likes to have her voice being heard. So our animals do get affected as well, by the way with these cosmic vibes. So please make sure that you're paying a little extra attention to your animals because a lot can happen with them as well. So this week, the energy is still lingering on a little bit. So you might have some like cosmic connections with the divine, which is gonna be really big this week conscious connections with the divine is within the divinity of your own soul really pay attention to what messages you are hearing because with this planetary energy right now that is going on it has hugely affected our planet so not only just us and our animals and all species it has affected us the other video i did other videos i've done i've talked about earthquakes and such like that <clears throat> with these solar system flares and and cosmic vibes that do affect us and our planet so take a look at the recent earthquake that came look at how certain volcanoes are erupting and such like that so you'll have to go back and, and watch my other videos to get a lot more information on that as well especially 2022 with the predictions and such so it just really shows you just how strong things are going on right now so you might also be feeling a little bit heavy and anxious this week, like your nervous system and you're like, God, my dreams are crazy. Of course, pay attention to your dreams, especially whenever you're getting a little bit more anxious, it's because you're trying to force so many things to happen or you're trying to force, gosh, how am I going to get clarity? How do I get clarity? You can always book a reading with Jenny. Hello, I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium, past life Akashic records, animal communicator, relationship coach, meditation teacher, and so on and so on and so on. 
I'll put the link below if you would like to book a private reading with me as well. So have no worries there. So you're going to find that this week, you might want to spend more time alone. And actually, you know, into the next six weeks, you are going to want to be doing a lot of surfacing and, and facing and looking within your soul because we are going towards March. And I'll talk about that, of course, as we get towards March. That's a huge month. That is literally a huge month. So you're going to find that this next six weeks, especially this week, you're going to be starting to pull back, like pull back. Take that time out for you because things are coming into alignment with you, even though you might be saying, okay, well, what was that about? Like, what was, what was just happening? And what is this about? Stop worrying. You have to be in trust with how things are flowing and aligning up for you during this time. Very important. Very important. You know, we can get a little bit scattered as well. And we are forming the new. Your soul wants you to embrace the new, walk into the new. And you're going to find that <clears throat> people from your past are just more soul connections are going to be entering into your energy this week. Felt something here. Felt something. I thought maybe a piece of my jewelry fell off. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Like, oh my goodness sakes. That's so interesting. I'm going to take this off. One of my bracelets off. Something. This is just so wild. I'm not going to go on about that. <laughs> that's, that's just a different story. I get a lot of different messages 24 seven by spirit. So, and also too, because my bracelet um, was acting a little bit differently. I was hearing right away, whoever is making jewelry or wants to go into the jewelry business or thinking about um, maybe getting involved in a new career in jewelry, really, really pay attention to that message because that creativity energy is going to be coming through for you more and more this week. Or if you had started a jewelry business, then you might start to see things are coming together right now, more ideas. You might have hired somebody to help you build a website or something as well. So really pay attention to that because spirit literally 24 seven, I get messages and all of a sudden for my, for my, um, uh, bracelet here to kind of like I felt literally something fall off right and my bracelet didn't fall off I took it off I kept on hearing somebody needs to hear a message from spirit for for jewelry for some reason so if that's you let me know in the comments below really embrace your passions because we have mercury connecting with the moon as it is and you're going to find that you're going to want to speak out more of your truth you know you might connect with somebody from your past and you know, maybe be like, you know, I'd, I'd really like to talk to you more about things or resolve issues. You know, normally we have past people during Mercury retrograde, which isn't going to happen until April. That's another video. But you're also going to find this week as well, you might start to meet certain people that you've been wanting to connect with for quite some time. Be really open to that. Be really open to that. Um, I mean, you don't have to go by how the energy makes you feel. Listen to your body. Like whenever your body starts to tense up and like, oh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Really pay attention to that because that's your soul and your guides bringing that to the fruitation for you to pay attention to. When you're meeting people, doesn't matter who it is, and you're like, yeah, I'm feeling pretty calm. You know, I'm feeling like I can be myself. Those are your people. Those are your people. Pay attention to that. If you have to try to be somebody who you're not and act a certain way or say certain things and hold yourself back, that's not your people. You have to be yourself because you will start to attract different people through the law of attraction of who you are into your life even more. And you might see how different connections start to open up for you this week. It could be business, it could be relationships, friendships, and that can turn into a real strong bond for you. Soulmate, twin flame vibes 
are also happening this week. We have Valentine's Day, for goodness sakes. How many of you are connecting with somebody on Valentine's Day, February 14th? What are you guys doing? Let me know. Make sure that you take time out for you. You don't have to be with somebody significant or with a partner, spouse, or whoever it is. Show yourself some love. I mean, I have love. I have my little baby girl, Bella. She's my little soulmate. She's just my soulmate. And actually, last night, I had a dream about McTavish and Nikita, my other dogs that had passed on years ago. They're laying right beside me. You know, I'm just so grateful and blessed that they do come and visit me and give me messages. So make sure you spend time with what you are seeing. Start writing it down if you have some insecurities or if you're like, oh my gosh, I'm anxious. <gasps> what does that dream mean? Or, you know, there's many different reasons and I'll give you a lot of clarity on what that means. So I'm going to be going live on YouTube once I start building up my channel a little bit more as well and doing some free readings. So make sure you're sharing my channel and, and subscribing to it because I'm going to be very spontaneous and surprised. It's Jenny. I'm live here. So make sure that whenever you're speaking your truth this week, especially as well, that you're in integrity. You're speaking your truth. You're walking your truth. You're being in, in the right heart and soul frame of mind. Make sure that you are doing that because whenever you're speaking with integrity and truth, you're going to see new doors opening up. When you're acting like somebody who you're not, it's not going to align. It's not going to happen. Things aren't going to come together for you. Be you. For goodness sakes, be you. Always. Always. So on Saturday the 11th, we have a master number day as well. You might even find that you might want to get a little bit more rest then. Really pay attention to what messages you're coming through, especially on the master number day. Some of you might go full force with your projects and start new things. And some of you might be, oh, you know what? I've been working so hard that I just need to rest. Pay attention to that. You might see, you know, synchronicity numbers, 111, 222. That's a message from your guides that you're on the right path. And also when you see those numbers, really pay attention to where your thoughts are. If they're negative or fearful, it's your time to really switch it around from negative to positive energy. So we also have Neptune entwined with the energy, which is going to give you some more ideas to work through. You're going to want to start building more of your foundation with more passion. Listen to your heart with different ideas. It doesn't matter how crazy it sounds. You can might be like, you know what? That's crazy. No, it's not. Maybe that's your journey. Maybe that's your path to walk. We all have our own self, our own soul, for goodness sakes. Pay attention. Pay attention. Because we have the Saturn energy being connected with the sun. So it's time to quiet down your mind. You know, our mind can get thinking overly, overly, overly. You aren't going to see clarity when you're constantly thinking over and over and over and over, especially about a certain situation or a certain person or whatever it is. You're not going to hear. This is with, with this energy. You're going to be like, you know what? I'm surrendering all of this. Maybe I need to get to a different environment or go out or exercise or completely change your mind frame. Completely change your mind frame at all because that energy is going to help you do that, do that and work through it. A Saturn works with the energy of the sun and it can bring you major breakthroughs as well when you stop overthinking. Do you ever notice that whenever you just stop thinking about certain things and, and then all of a sudden when you least expect it, you're like, oh, that's it. That's, that's where I'm supposed to go. That's how I'm supposed to resolve that issue. Or maybe I need to end that. Or, you know, maybe I really need to start that project or, or you know, like look for new work or whatever it is. That's why we have these different transit times. And really look back towards, towards the end of November as we had Jupiter retrograde as well. And see where you are now today. Do you remember what you were doing or working through towards the end of November? Was it a project? 
Were you building a foundation? Were you applying for a job? Did you just get hired? Are you getting a raise now or promoted? What was going on back then? You're going to see different shifts with that. You might be, be reviewing everything. You know, really take a look at where you are now because slow and steady really wins the race. And what you did in January, you were building a foundation for this whole entire year. How many of you noticed that January was just nonstop, nonstop? It's like, geez, Lord help mercy. Like I need to slow down or, or just when you think you have some time, boom, 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 boom. You get flooded with messages or you get called into work or you get pulled away, whatever it is. And how many of you now today have set more boundaries because of that? That's self-love. Self-boundaries are not when you're like, you think you're better than somebody else. Absolutely not. Setting boundaries is self-love for yourself because you can have people take you for granted automatically. You would be surprised of how many messages I get a day People wanting information, you can book a reading with me to get information, you guys. Okay, so just to let you know ahead of time, if you want to book a reading with me, book through my website. Keep things very simple. Keep things very simple. So, <clears throat> excuse me. With the February 17th energy, we are in the balsamic moon which will make you look at things and let go because it's going to flow you into the super new moon on the 20th of February in Pisces. Make sure you watch my video. I did a separate video on that and you'll have to get more information on that time frame to help you work through it and what you should be expecting and, and go on right now. So really just make sure that you're really just taking, stay in the now. Some of you are going to be like, you know what? I can't even think about what I want to be doing in the next few months or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just start writing things down, what you'd like to change or what you'd like to do or end or work through. And, and it doesn't matter. You'll see how these energies and cosmic times will help you work through it. That's another reason why I'm doing these weekly videos, because the energies right now are very strong. And it can help you work through things a lot better. So embrace this week and let me know what you guys are doing. Like, let me know what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day. For those of you, I mean, I'll be here with my little Miss Bella, you know, and spending my, my love time with her, of course, as I call it. I spend love time with her every minute. And you have to never, never, never take anybody for granted ever, 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 ever. Life is fragile. You truly do not know how much time you have with this, have with people. You really don't. You can't just automatically expect this and expect that and expect. Show people respect and please show kindness. We are all going through things, not just some of us. All of us are going through and have been going through a lot. Things are going to start opening up more this year. You know, the unvaccinated are going to be able to do some travels and such like that. So uh, just to give you a heads up in that, a lot of things are changing. Just go with the flow and enjoy the moment and really reflect back and see what lessons that your soul has taught you and has shown you. And just, you know, be in the divine grace within your soul and be truly grateful for the littlest things. It's so important. So important. You, you know, I'm grateful for so many things and I fight with spirit every day I argue with spirit every day you know that I'm like I'm sorry I'm sorry you know I was having a moment or whatever we're human we're human right we're human so anyways I'm gonna talk right away actually about we're gonna pull a couple of cards collectively from spirit um and whenever you use any cards Make sure you knock them three times on wood to clear the energy when you last used it or whoever else used the cards, okay? Because it clears the energy. If not, it can get really stuck. So I'm going to use one of my animal decks and see what the animals have to say to us. I, I get messages 24-7 nonstop from the animals, and that's why I might even do a separate video, seriously. Um, so if anybody would like to see something like that, like I'm saying, let me know. 
So what is the energy and the message from our animals from February 9th to the 17th from the animals? You're building the cosmic foundation of self-love with you. Setting boundaries, self-love, working on you, transformation of you. It's a cosmic foundation of love this week, you guys. Foundation of love. What's the cosmic messages from our animals? On February 9th, too many fell out. What's the message from our animals? What's the message from our animals? February 9th to 17th this week. The messages from the animal kingdom. So grateful. Wow. I love giraffes. I love giraffes. They're, they're so unique. They're so unique. The giraffe. Walk tall. Seen the overview. You know how I said that you're going to start doing some reflecting this week and you're going to be looking back and, and seeing where you were now uh, compared to end of November. This is when you're going to be reflecting on and make sure you give yourself a pat on the back for everything that you have achieved. You know, and some people are like, oh my God, Jenny, I don't know if I'm walking in the right direction. I don't feel it. I feel like everything is falling apart. You know, for every th three steps that you feel that you are taking backwards, you're actually taking that quantum leap forward and transcending. You'd be really surprised. But sometimes you're like, geez, I did all this work. I'm not seeing results or I did this and that. And I can't believe I'm still waiting. Surrender that. Everything comes together in divine timing. It truly does. Keep working towards your goals or your dreams, whatever it is you're walking towards. Baby steps can make that giant le leap forward in a huge way. Look at the giraffe. Look at the message from the giraffe. So grateful for the animal kingdom. So truly grateful. So let's find out what um, the energy of love is this week, because this is the foundation of love within that you're building. We're transcending forward. We have Valentine's Day. Buy yourself something special on Valentine's Day if you can. Go see a movie. Do something for you. Cook yourself a favorite meal. You don't need to be with someone on Valentine's Day. People can be like, oh, I don't have a Valentine's. I don't have a twin soul or a twin mate or a soul mate or a soul twin. All of that kind of stuff. And I'm like, stop worrying about it. There's a process to that. Divine timing, you attract who you are. We all have karmic cycles. That's why I do past life Akashic records to tell you where you are and who's coming into your life, how you clear karmic situations, you know, and so on. And when your soulmate especially is going to arrive, right? So stop worrying about it and forcing anything. Goodness, goodness sake. You can book a reading with Jenny, I'm telling you soulworkwithjenny.com. So anyways, what's the collective message from spirit? February 9th to the 17th. It's a collective message from spirit. February 9th to the 17th. What's the collective love message from spirit? It's a collective love message from spirit. And a beautiful, beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful card. Fell out. This card represents vacation. Now, see how interesting how many of you are getting away for valentine's day with someone see how there's two people and they're in the boat and they're on a journey somewhere they're getting away they're getting away for the night or for a weekend or for like a vacation or whatever like that how many of you are getting away with your loved ones i mean i travel 99 percent of the time when i travel i'm alone I, I venture out on my own to different countries and places and such like that. That's just me. I don't need to have somebody with me in order to have fun and meet new people. So you don't have to be with someone like I'm saying, right? See how this person here, this woman here is at the front of the boat. She's taking leadership into walking forward. She's like, I'm not waiting to find my person to travel with. I'm going to venture out on my own. And that's exactly what I do. So when you're on your own traveling, you don't have to compromise. <laughs> you don't have to make sacrifices. You do what you want to do. So there's a lot of good, good things, you know, with traveling alone or being on your own, you know, and there's also a lot of beautiful things to sharing time with someone and being with your person as well. 
So whatever works for you, do that. But how amazing is that? How amazing is that? Some of you might be planning to get in a way or your spouse or partner might surprise you and say, you know, I've got something really special for you. We're actually getting away. So, yeah, I did that to someone myself a few years ago. Surprise. That worked out actually really well. So it just depends on the person, right? So let's pull a crystal card to see what the crystals have to say to us. What's the message from the crystals from February 9th to the 17th this week? What is the message from our beautiful crystals? The collective message from our beautiful crystals. The collective message. Wow. Wow. What is the collective message from our crystals? So too many of these cards fell down. I didn't like that. What's the collective message for our crystal? Collective message. It's a collective message. Moonstone. Moonstone. And look at that. If you if you actually can see, there is a person right there, and it's like a like a crystal ball, right? So it's like whenever I pick up crystals, I'm very sensitive. I can feel the energy right away. That's why I buy my crystals. But see the crystal. It looks like a moon. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. That's your soul. That's your soul. There's you right inside there. Can you see that? Listen to your soul this week. Vibe in your own energy. You don't have to be surrounded by a lot of different people. You don't have to be with somebody for Valentine's Day. You're going to want to be tuning more out. You know how I said that, especially this week and moving into the next six weeks of March, you're going to want to be spending more time alone and hearing those thoughts coming through and building your foundations and ending situations. Utilize the energy of the moonstone to help you with that. I mean, use whatever crystals, of course, that you are drawn to automatically because then that's the crystal that is pulling you and, and wanting to have a job so one last card one last card i heard one last card from spirit one last card okay so what is the card what is the card warrior i keep on hearing warrior 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 strength um Warrior strength for someone. Um, someone I'm hearing, I keep hearing them saying, I don't have the strength to keep going. I don't have the strength. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You'll be surprised. Whenever we start going into that fear zone of we can't do it, you start setting your mind that I, I can't do this or I can't make this happen or whatever it is. It's really important to change your mind frame, especially this entire year, with from any doubts into, yes, I can do this. I am worthy. I deserve the best. This is where the boundaries come in. This is where the self-worth energies are also coming through this, this week as well. Really take, you have to start really loving yourself. That's self-love. Walk your journey. Walk your journey. But yes, you can. I just keep on hearing that. And it's something connected with the little baby as well. So if you're pregnant and you're scared, you're going to be perfectly fine. If you just had a baby and you're scared, you're going to be fine. I just keep hearing that. I might I might get a name. I I'm I might get a name from that. Um I don't want to say the name, but um just know you're going to be perfectly fine. Um, so what is the collective message February 9th? <laughs> a little too many cards fell out there, I must say. Right? <clears throat> what is the collective message? What's the collective message from spirit? Collective message. You know, the Neptune energy is going to help you bring out a lot of your wisdom, by the way. You'll be surprised. You could go into that real creative vibe and this week and you'll be surprised what you're talented and gifted at where we all have talents we're all gifted in our own way that's why you have to be you there could be like an artist out there and you're not an artist <clears throat> you very well could be a doctor you very well could be whoever right so <clears throat> this card here 
talks about celebration. Look at that. Celebrate you. Celebrate your success. You ever notice that whenever you're achieving a success, that there's people that ignore you, completely ignore you. They don't say, wow, that's awesome. Good for you. Pay attention to people like that. Like, why wouldn't a true friend or somebody who truly cares about you not be happy for your success? That says a lot. That really says a lot. So pay attention to that. We all have our own ebb and flow. I mean, I work 14 hour days every day, for God's sakes. So you can't just sit back and expect things to magically happen just like that. You have to take those steps forward to make something happen, to make a little bit of change, a little bit by a little bit by a little bit. You can always talk to more people. You can always book a reading with me and I can give you those steps to tell you how you can shift and transcend forward and manifest. So celebrations are not only just with family and friends. Celebrations are you have to celebrate yourself because if you don't celebrate yourself, Nobody else might celebrate you. We have to look at reality, celebrate yourself and say, you know what? Good job. Good job for knocking off. You lost a pound this week. Good job. You know, good job. You finally worked towards that project. Good job. You finally painted your, painted your wall. Good job. You finally applied for that job. You know, like any little thing, be happy, celebrate you and, and be very grateful for your achievements and connecting with different energies and people so on that note you guys walk towards and be in the moment within your soul start loving yourself with the foundation of love for you for you when you're happy things will change you are the only person that can make yourself happy. You can't run to somebody else and expect them to wave that magic wand to make those changes for you. You are the only person that can make the change. And there's people out there that can help you through steps and help you and give you those insights with positive support. Who you surround yourself with, you become in awareness. Namaste, everyone. And happy Valentine's Day.